pa, ma-pull off ng sunspot so kasi they paired off with a very um um an orthodox pick too which is an Algerian salt pero nakita naman natin to nung North Luzon but yeah. let's just see how they will be able to utilize this kasi ang pwedeng gawin ni Ecosen dito lapitan lang lagi si Algerian salt or parang hampasin lang ng bola time and time again mm. Yeah, parehas naman sila actually may pangharas sa isa't isa. But I guess Oriana dito mas malayo yung range na naaabot ng bola-bola dito ni Oriana. And also, pwede niya pang iwanan yan ng dissonance later on kung sakaling dumikit sa bola itong si 5722. Meanwhile, yung umiikot-ikot naman dito kay Exocene, kailangan kasi siya yung lalapit. Um, I mean, umiikot-ikot sa isang Aurelian Shore. Kailangan siya yung lalapit. But meanwhile, this is um, standard laning, 1-1-2. For both teams natin, madam, wala mo ng kantian. Again, tahimik muna ang ating mm -hmm. early games, madam Yuko. Gaya nga na nakita natin kanina, pag nag-level 5, doon sila magpapal magpapalagan, papalagan, Tagalog, Yuko, Tagalog. And here you can see sa may mid lane, Exocent, just clearing out the waves just as quickly. He does have a bit of the range advantage solely because yung kanyang, I'm gonna call that dark hole, just because of the skin. So, dahil yung dark hole niya, nalalapit niya kay Algerian Sol, and time and time again, napapressure niya. Yeah, pindi. Tama ka doon, madam. And I guess, these two junglers, tamang secure lang ng kanya-kanyang scuttler para pag-ready, mamaya, uh, kung sakali may mag-rotate nga naman. Pero top lane, akala ko mag-rotate itong si Fate. Hindi pa pala siya tapos dun sa scuttler. Same with Olaf. Yeah, Olaf, mas mabilis nga siya mag-clear or mas mabilis siya to make down dito ng mga junglers, ng mga minions. I guess, So, in terms of pagkuha ng mga junglers, I mean, jungle minions dito, talaga mas mabilis nga si Olaf. But, I don't think na wise yan kung magnanakaw ka, Faith. Medyo delicate yan, no? Madam Yuko. Definitely. That is very that is very delicate. Wow, konyo. <laughs> yes, naman na. Wala na ako sa'yo. But looking again at the dragon lane, you have sets being pressed right here. Nice, unbreakable. But na, root me classy brown dito. I don't think they will they will commit. Void Seeker did connect. And Maze is just forced to fall back. Si Nixu just being very careful. And dapat lang. Because you don't want to overextend against Devil J. Kasi he does have a wave of minions na papunta sa turret niya. And you have Graves actually near where he is, Olaf. Love, mukhang magbabatian yung dalawang jungler, jungler dyan. No, plan is sa akin ako. Nay, pero nakapabay lang sa mayaw. Dito, si Kuya Mo. And as na V, a flash out coming in from Nick. So, hinabol dito ni Olaf. Pero na, nahampas din ng cast si Olaf. And that is na V, a one for one. So, jungler to jungler ang napatay. Yung bumisita sa lane. Pero nakapabay na stand dito. Nabato pa nga ng bola. That's na V, one dead Camille. In the hands of Sunsparks, mm -hmm. medyo mm -hmm. maganda yung bigayan ngayong early game, ah. Yeah, kala ko tahimik lang, eh. Not until merong dragon. But Sunsparks, kita na natin si Aurelion Sol. 5722, galing pa siya na, medyo galing pa siya halfway. Papunta doon sa top lane. Sayang nga lang hindi tumama yung star search niya. Maybe kung tumama yung star search niya, baka mas naagap, maaga pa nilang napatay dito si Migi. But exchange na sana yon for a jungler to a jungler. Kaso nga lang masyado ding nag-stay dito. Ito si Exocen. I do believe na medyo low health or bawas yung HP doon ni Exocen. And talagang nasa range siya. Neto ni Devil J para mabato ng mga rolling up rolling barrel na ito na ma-burst down agad-agad sa agad, WPO. Rolling Thunder! Yung <laughs> naisip ko. Anyway na naman, nasa utak natin mga kaibigan. But you have a lot of feathers na nasa hay coming in from Saya. So, medyo delicate siya. But na lang, wala doon si Gambit nung binawi ni Seth sa kanyang feathers. But so far, ah, nakakapag-farm naman si Saya. 3-2. And hindi ko nakita yung kay Gambit. But you'll see that in a bit. You have Ecosin just warding mm -hmm. sa may bush dyan. Mukha ito, boy, pupuntas na may, pupunta na sa may mid lane. Kinuha na nga ang heals para lang walang makuha ang sa Sparks dito. Yep. Dragon is alive, everyone. That's gonna be the first dragon of the game. And yes, Winter's Bite did connect. Pero si Mga Itaboy, okay. Bala ka dyan. Okay lang naman. Nakapag ward din naman dito si Gragas. They already gave the dragon a start. Pero feeling ko bait lang to. Kasi they know na malapit na yung Sun Sparks sa kanila. Yep. Kailangan dito ng Liam makapasok ng magandang shockwave para mag-connect yung lahat. The final spark, the hexic ultimatum ko. Meron man silang mahuli dito. Especially that... Uh, I think mas better view nila dito si Fate talaga. Mas masakit, yes. I guess, ito si Fate. Pero madami yun po. Oh, puta si Fate. Ragnarok being popped dito kay Olaf. Pero tumigil ang mundo. No, kumunek. 
Like Vine, hindi mo kahit na boy. Palag agad na sa South Park dito. Camille gets bursted. Ako na po napakabuy sa mga galaw. Ano sa South Park dito? He did flash out. Pero ako po gamit ako. Baka habulin ka dito. All your results. Tan, 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 Four, no, it's, it's a three for none, yeah. In favor of Sun Sparks, looks like they're gonna get Dragon as well. Walang final spark kasi nagamit na ni Moraita Boy kanina. Yep, he did. Sabi, binabanggit pa lang natin kanina. It's all about the connection ng kanilang mga skills. But then again, dun sila nag-fall off sa side ng Liab. And nagkalat-kalat na sila dun the moment na hindi nag-connect-connect yung kanilang mga skill dito. Protecto dong protecto do yung mga nasa backlines na side ng Sun Sparks. Talagang habol kong habol. And nagtaka lang din kasi ako. Gambit na iwan pa siya dun eh. Sa malapit sa Dragon. Yeah. Habang nasa ano na eh. Nag-back na totally yung the rest of Liab na habol pa tuloy siya dun. Nakakatuwa ang tignan yung Aurelion Sol na tumatago sa bader no. Eh, diba? alam mo na na ano, eh. Star Search eh. Ako kinabahan kay Gambit dun kasi alam mo na may kasunod na Star Search agad. Yatarp Chiwap agad. Itong si Kuya Nyo Gambit. True. And parang may humahabol na lang sa'yo from nowhere. I feel like ang plano dapat ng Liab doon, backline or magpa-flank si Gambit. But they sa sabi nila bigla, hindi enough. Nabawasa na tayo ng dalawa, ng tatlo. Mm. And medyo nagka-miscom. But right now, just six minutes in, Sun Sparks looks like they're gonna get their herald non-contest. And pero na ako po sa may baba, nakapitas ng isa. Nawala na nga si Gagas si na hawa pa si Fire 722 dito. Nakabalis naman na all real yun. So na yun, bala ka dyan, sabi niya. And he still gets out of there by just the skin of his teeth. Looking at the Baron side though, si Seth, mag-isa, tahimik lang, was able to get a reset na lang muna. Mas, mas tahimik and mas, um, how should I say this? Um, book? No, 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 no. I forgot the term. Basta mas, ano siya, mas, hindi may sa Dodical eh. Basta it's all ab it's all according to rules yung ginagawa ng Sun Sparks dito and it's working out just fine. Yeah, true, true. Kanina sabi natin, saya kailangan niya mag-online. So, hindi talaga siya sumasama sa mga teamfights dito. Going back to the teamfight at the bottom lane, nakita ko na nagdala-dala na ni uh, 5722 yung Star Surge. But then, in numbers, dalawa sila doon. Apat yung katapat nila for the side of um, Sun Sparks. And nakapitas, nagkapitasan sila ng isa doon. But the Star Surge, ang layo pa lang. Kita-kita na natin. Pero bottom lane, madam yun po. Was not able Ooh. to clear that wave. Now, Glacial Fish na din. And that's gonna be the bombs. Now, pa na. Pakasakit naman. But will it be enough to actually force Sun Sparks to go back? It's a yes. They, they, they fell back. Chill na lang. They not summon yet. Rift Herald though. Sa baba, para lang matapos yung skill dito. And I remember the term I was looking for. Textbook. Ayun. Textbook. <laughs> it took me a few seconds, but I finally got it. Pero looking naman sa mid lane dito, Liab, most of their members are there. Naiwan si Aurelion. So, pero again, guys, tingin sa mga lang sila, be the tactical sweep. Nag-hextech like ultimate na sa isa. Feather star being popped by Saya as well. Pero did not read. Ano, meron pala nagot na isa dito. Like finding good connect. And here comes Aurelion. So, nakastun ng isa. Just gave his teammates the opening para makapagmamba. Defensively. Yep. Uh, defensive skill ang ginawa ni Aesol mm -hmm. and just worked so well. Yeah. Akala ko magiging deja vu naman. Um, coming from the game one nila, yung isang straight sa middle lane with that referral. Pero buti na lang hindi na push. Yung second tier turret na side ng Liab Esports doon. Actually, ang ganda ng ginawa ng Sun Sports doon. The Saya. And um, ang napansin ko dito... Camille, nasayang lang yung hextech niya. Nahuli niya si yes. Bait, yes? Pero na-realize niya, uy, she, hindi ko kaya. Oh my God, hindi ko kaya. So, kailangan ko mag-back away. Hinuli niya lang dito si Fate. Pero walang pakailan si Fate doon. So, dire-diretso lang eh. Mas marami doon yung numbers ng Sun Sparks kumpara doon sa Liab Esports. And mas makunat yung frontliners nila, honestly. May kasama pang 5722 na Star Search. So, kailangan mag-ingat ka talaga. Totoo, totoo. And very mobile din kasi ni 5722 ngayon. Kahit sa ang part ng mapa, pwede, pwede kang dalawin. Look at that disc. Kinakabahan ako just by staring at it. But yeah, oh, I was able okay. to push the members of the back. Pwede lang intayin na mag-online si Gambit dito. Kung hintay lang, they can try to contest yung dragons dito since it's just the second break. Para lang makahabol kahit konti wards being taken out. But that just gave vision the Sun Sparks na, oh okay, they're in the bush. 
And mabilis naman yung wave clean ng Liab dito. You have Gragas alone sa may Baron Lane. Nag-hook shot. Nag-hex. Ang ultimate na medyo malayo. Pero ako po, here comes the other members ng Liab. Napagod na try. But let's see what's gonna happen next. Tingin sa likod. Nandiyan. This is it. And here comes Fate. Meron na meron pa na bulag. Apparently, wala pa ako. The Light Binding is gonna ginawa pa ni Fate. Kaya po, he got a lot of damage. Was able to flash out. Pero enough yun para ma-push ang members ng Liab back. They're forced to recall. Unless, unless ito na, Dragon Fight. Walang ultimates except sa Killer Instinct ni Kaisa dito. Baron Nash also is up. Light Binding did collect. Boom! Masok bigla dito. And that's the amount of damage being taken by the LBJ. He gets out. Pero 5, 7, 2, 2. Here come. He decides to join the party. Hinahabos si Makaita Boy. Makaita Boy forced to go back. Gagawin mo dyan, Yugi Boy. Last to be a youth. Did connect. Pero medyo like overextend down. That's gonna be a kill coming over. Para kay Lux. A shot down on Aesop. Pwede niya pasukan niya. Mukhang si Niksu. Pwede niyang kunin. Kaya niya to. Kaya niya to. But, okay. No? Okay. 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 Okay, pwede niya sanang pasukin yun, but then again, dalawang go health yun eh. Pwede niya manakaw yung Drago, pwede niya matay, mapatay dito si Fate as well as itong si Maze. But uh, Camille, Nixu, I don't know, medyo natakot yata sa nun. But then, Sunsparks, uh, hindi na naman nila na-receive yung um, sunod-sunod na skills na pwede iba to sa kanila ng Liab. Come, uh, starting from that Hexic Ultimatum ni Camille at the middle lane, pagka na-Hextic ka, matik yan ang ginawa dito ni 5722. Uh, Alam niya na na final spark yung dadetake. So, nag-flash up uh, sa patagilid mm -hmm. siya doon and naka-dodge siya. Hindi, siya na, hindi niya na-receive yung damage. Si Camille, napa-jump in lang siya way too deep sa loob ng Sun Sparks and then doon na, nagsimula yung chase ng Sun Sparks. Nagkalat-kalat na dito yung Liab Esports and that dragon um extended dragon fight sa so side oh, no. ng sparks naging advantage talaga ni Leon because of that body slam na nanggaling kay Devil J and also True. yung star surge and yung celestial expansion dito ni 572 pero madam yung lag na rock para pumasok pero nako po medyo na palalim ang Leon oh, no. natin dom and napakasakit itong damage ng Sun Sparks goodness me let the bodies hit the floor and napaghiwalay nila ang oh, members ng Sun Sparks dito Migi that was a good Engage ka, so medyo na palalim. Medyo na po overextend ang Liab doon. They forgot the CC and the damage that Liab has. So they're gonna get this Baron non-contested. You have um, Nixu split pushing dapat sa may turret. But looks like napuntahan na din siya doon ni Devil J. And 12 minutes in, Sun Sparks for 12. They have a 5k roughly gold lead. And wow, peak Sun Sparks. It's good. Yep. Ang ganda ng ginagawa dito ng Sun Spark. You know, yung ultimate dito ni Sets ng isang Saya, hindi mo siya ganun kadaling mapapatama kung dun ka lang magre-rely. So, ang sagot dyan is uh, patamayin yung Star Surge and then follow up with the uh, sunod-sunod na CC na pwede nilang ibigay. The Body Slam, pagtapos ng Star Surge and also yung ultimate nga dito ni Sets, yung Root. And na tatlo yung nahuli nila dun sa may bandang Baron Pit natin. Then Sun Sparks, sweep na lang. Talagang clean up crew na lang yung ginawa nila doon. They even managed to take this Baron. Ang magagawa na lang ni Nixu, yes, to pressure the top play. Pero napakalaki, Madam Yuko! What was that? What is analysis? Nobindang tayong dalawa nung nakita natin yun. Kumunek pa sa isang member ng Liam. Like, is that legal? Is that supposed to happen? But yeah, si Nixu, gusto ko yung call nila ngayon na 1-4 setup. At least you have an assurance sa mayon. Nag-speak ko siya may Gedli. But Sun Sparks, they're just knocking sa may base ng Liam dito. They're in the front line. Yeah, set to the back line. Very, very, nakapag-skill yung Saya. Very, very good. Ito yung hinihintay natin. Ako pa, Devil Day, napakalayo mo. Plus, the unbreakable. Pop kay Grom, naging sacrificial champion, sacrificial uh, manginginom <laughs> si Devil J doon para lang makuha yung turret and I think that's worth it. Kasi ang champion mm -hmm. na bubuhay, nag respawn ang turrets hindi. Yeah, totoo yan, Madam Yuko. And yun nga, naging sacrificial lamb itong si Kuya nyo, Devil J, just to get that inhibitor para mabutas lang yung bottom na Liab Esports. Maganda sana na huli din kung sakaling napatay niya si Exocent. Na disposition niya doon si Exocent, pero top lane natin, Madam Yuko. Hmm, kumanag ang Void Seeker, pero looks like walang follow-up from Kaisa. Fate is quite far away and pwede naman niya kasing ma-blind din dito mm -hmm. si Kaisa. Ang pwede lang siguro pumalag sa kanya is an Oriana. And nice face check galing kay Exo. Migi, mm -hmm. working the sides, um, he should choose his engages more, um, more calmly. 
more properly. Kasi kanina, medyo, ano yun eh, medyo delicate. High risk, high reward, but it just mm-hmm. did not pan out well for them. Three seconds before the next dragon is up, so Sunsparks na, dyan na. And sabi ko to kanina, nakapag-skin na po ang ating sa Aya. May raba doon, tsaka Infinity Ayan. Orb, si Orion Sol. Mayroon na din siyang Stasis. Ito na naman tayo, mga kaibigan. Gold medalist po ang Sunsparks natin. Naglabas na din ng, ano, ng kanang beer. Si... Uh, Magragas, they were able to get the Ocean Drake non-contested. Liab, they yep. should have contested that though. Yep. Sunsparks dito, sila na yata ang magbibigay ng kauna-unahang win para kay Saya kasi very well executed yung pagkakasunod-sunod talaga ng mga skills nila. Liab, hindi na nila kinontest yung dragon dito. Uh, alam nila na baka nakasetup na yung mga stage, yung mga wards na ilapag na yan. So kapag ka pupunta pa sila, I guess, kitang-kita na ng Sunsparks yan. Sila pa yung pwedeng madelikado. Kasi they have no information doon sa location ng Sunsparks. Wala silang vision inside the pit dito ng Dragon. Pero at least alam nila na nagda-Dragon. Hindi lang nila alam kung sino yung manakabang sa damo or kung saan yung exact location talaga ng mga key champion ng Sunsparks. Pero may delay. Mukhang may nagkakaanbahan, Madam Yuko. Ambahan indeed. Baron is up, I guess. They're just preparing for that next huge objective. Pero kung usapang minion equilibrium, medyo advantage side ng Sun Sparks. Mm-hmm. Madaming ways to face check. Actually, yung Liab dito mayon silang itak, mayon silang Lucian Singularity. I just, I'm not sure kung kulang sila ng vision dito. Yes, that's Nixu. But why would you target a Brom, guys? That's a Brom na kapag four man nga kap na nga dito sa additional T-shirt, and that's just. That's what they want, okay? They popped one huge ultimate, but protecta dong sun sparks, and let's see how Liab will play to that advantage or or knowing na wala nang pang initiate na isa dito ang sun sparks. But you have Devil J, pang okay, guys. Balakay jan. I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna push the waves here. You go do your thing. Yeah, wala si Devil J yung busy kayo, busy din ako eh. So carry on. Pero madam Star Surge. Star Surge na nga, mukhang last ni Vito ko po. Tingin sa likod mga kaitigan na T5 is nyo rin real connect. Pero naman may nakuwang dalawa dito! Si Orion Sol, nag-flash si 5722. Tingin kayo pwede hinahabos si Gambit. Ako walang nagawa, so kayo mo Gambit dito. Nag-hook shot pero look na, that is not gonna connect. Last ni Vito ko po, hindi over para kay Gragas as well as kay Graves. Nixu forced to go back. Wala nang natira. Siya na lang ang buhay. Death timers is insanely high for the side of Liab and they have the waves. Meron pang nag-tele Port. Mabilis ang wave clear ng Sunsparks again. Mukha na nga mga kaibigan. This, this is gonna be the game of number two going over to Sunsparks and they finish the second series with a two.